I'm Steve from B&H Photo, and we're here at NAB 2014, and right now we're talking to Steve Cooperman, Senior Product Manager for Panasonic, and we're talking about the Panasonic 4K Varicam. Yes, this is our first uh, 4K camera. It's not just a 4K camera. It also records 2K, records HD, records proxy. This is our first uh, super 35 millimeter sensor. So right, single sensor for Panasonic. Single sensor, PL mount. Uh, we're really excited about it. Uh, the booth's been packed for the last two days. Allows customers to record 4K in camera on our new Express P2 card while simultaneously recording 2K or HD along with proxy on micro P2 cards. So uh, really awesome in camera workflow with high quality. Um, Yesterday we also made an announcement with Codex that we will have a 120 frame uh, raw, uncompressed raw output uh, to the new Codex recorder. So I want to go over the, the, the really exciting point. Single sensor, Super 35, yep. and PL mount. Yep. So that's the standard. And I like that you're keeping the P2. You haven't abandoned the P2 format. I haven't abandoned it. Obviously, this is a uh, the bread and butter. This is a new P2 card. It's obviously a very fast P2 card. You know, to be able to record uh, full resolution 4K at, at 120 frames a second. So it's not the current P2 card that's out there in the marketplace. But uh, we are keeping with P2. And this camera has the main recorder for the new card, as well as the sub recorder for the micro P2 card that I mentioned can, can uh, right. record your 2K or your proxy for your editing or your dailies in camera. So really, this is taking the whole P2 thing and entrenched it and come up with a solid piece of, I mean, it's all included. It's all here, yes? Well, it's all here, but it's, it's a modular system. Here's the front end of the camera with the 35 millimeter sensor. Here's the back end of the camera that has the recording as well as the control. Uh, here's the viewfinder. And the cool thing about this is there's a complimentary high-speed camera, uh, the Vericam HS. And you is, can share the record back. Exactly. The back of the, the, the back recorder controller is shared between the devices, between the camera heads. Yes. So that's actually really great if you if you want to, if you have one camera and you need to get a high-speed camera for you can just rent the, you probably yeah. will be able to just get the front part and use your basic recorder. Exactly, or, or some or some uh, cinematographers that I know have said they're gonna buy both front ends and just keep one back end. And they might normally shoot 35 large sensor, but occasionally when they need an action shot, a sports shot, a shot that takes advantage of a long zoom lens, they'll pop on the uh, Vericam HS front. So it gives you, a lot of, uh, gives you a lot of flexibility, but doesn't take away the incredible high quality. Right, and we're talking, we're talking 4096 for the sensor, 4096 by 2160? Yes. Yes. That's really Native great. 4K. Yes. So all the way yes. DCI 4K, that's yes. really great. And I like that it's got the viewfinder. So the whole camera is a complete package. Complete. Obviously, this lens is extra. <laughs> but the, but the lens camera, and follow focus not included. Yeah, camera head, recorder, and uh, and the uh, viewfinder, yes. And it's it's sort of very ENG style because it's got the shoulder mount cut out. So. Well, yes and no. It can be ENG style because obviously Obviously, we know that customers like to put it on rods, like to put them on tripods, but the cool thing about the modular design is you could take this back end off and connect it to the front end via an umbilical type cable and put the front end on a jib, on a crane, you know, hang it up in the sky. That's nice. And then have the cable go back to the recorder in Video Village or a DIT type oh, that's station. That's really nice because now you're just flying just the, just the amount of camera sure. you need. Exactly. So you can have it this way or you can have it separate depending on your shooting application. I really think you guys came up with a smart design yep. for our, this we've camera. We've had focus groups for the last couple of years, and uh, our factory engineers and design team did a great job at uh, taking what our customers said and uh, putting it into motion. Well, it looks fabulous. Modular design, Super 35 sensor, and 120 frames per second. 120 frames a second, 4K internally on P2, as well as 120 frames a second uncompressed RAW to the new Codex recorder. And the really important thing about that compared to many other cameras out there is this is full resolution 4K, it's not subsampled. You know, one of the things that um, Panasonic didn't want to sacrifice is on quality. So you're getting the full 120 and the full resolution, but you're not sacrificing quality. It's full resolution 4K. Well, there you have it, the new Panasonic Barry Cam here at NAB 2014. Steve, thanks for spending the time with us. I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thank you very much. Look, I'm Steve from B&H Photo. Thanks for watching.